middle-aged, white Facebook trolls are jailed while violent thugs walk free. Two-tier justice is a joke, Farage blasts. White middle-aged Facebook trolls are being thrown behind bars while violent thugs are left to roam free, Nigel Farage has blasted. The Reform UK leader insisted there is a growing perception Britain is facing a two-tier justice system, where certain crimes are treated more harshly depending on who commits them. He argued this means public trust in the judicial system is collapsing. The Clacton MP also pointed to the Chris Caba case, where a police officer was cleared of murder, but the Crown Prosecution Service instead expressed sympathy only for Caba's family. His fiery rant came in a new episode of The Sun's Never Mind the Ballots, where Mr. Farage was pressed on his accusations of two-tier justice. Mr. Farage was among those who alleged police and Prime Minister Sir Keir Starmer were dealing with some rioters during summer more harshly than others. More than 30 people found themselves arrested over social media posts and earlier this month the wife of a Tory councillor was jailed after calling for hotels housing asylum seekers to be set on fire. After the Southport attacks This came as another 1,100 prisoners were freed early in England and Wales, under the government's emergency plan to tackle overcrowding in jails. Asked by our political editor Harry Cole to define two-tier justice, Mr. Farage said it is about people from different ethnic backgrounds. And frankly, you know, if you're middle-aged and white and you say something beastly on Facebook, you are likely to get a worse sentence than if you're from a different origin and do something. Whether that's true or not, that's the perception. It is not solely, but it's partly a race thing. It is about some crimes being seen to be more serious than others. And that is the growing perception. What I'm certain of is that confidence in our judicial system is collapsing. The Reform UK boss also blasted the CPS for taking the Chris Caba case to court after a jury took just three hours to clear the cop of murder. SGT Martin Blake was cleared over the killing of 24-year-old Chris Caba, who was shot in the head while trying to escape a police roadblock in September 2022. Prosecutors decided to charge the 40-year-old, a highly experienced firearms officer, after a long investigation by the Independent Office for Police Conduct. But the jury rejected the suggestion the officer had no lawful justification for pulling the trigger after he described how he believed one of his colleagues would be killed when Mr. Kaba drove his two-ton Audi Q8 vehicle towards them. Mr. Farage said, I think the Chris Kaba case, the fact that the Crown Prosecution Service, having prosecuted a police officer for murder, not even manslaughter, murder. And when the jury came back with their verdicts, as quickly as they did, asked the judge to read out a note that said the trial should never even taken place. Even after that, the CPS say we feel very sorry for Chris Caba's family. We respect the verdict of the jury. Not a word about a police officer and his family. I don't know what they thought. He went on, I really worry that this kind of thinking has gone through so many of our public institutions. They should have recognized with that rapid verdict from the jury they got it wrong. They should have admitted they got it wrong. They showed no sympathy to that police officer at all. And by the way, you know he is now in hiding. His kids have had to leave the school they're at. I mean, this is a shameful episode. Mr. Farage also said he has put the CPS on notice by threatening to take the Manchester airport suspects to court himself if prosecutors drag their feet in bringing charges. A viral clip from July 23 sparked outrage after showing a police officer kicking Fahir Amaz, 19, in the head while he and his brother Muhammad Ahmad, 25, were being restrained. But more footage then emerged showing the cops being beaten to the ground, leaving a female officer with a broken nose, before Mr. Amez was tasered. Both men have been bailed following arrest on suspicion of a fray and assault, while the police watchdog has launched a probe. Mr. Farage and his other four Reform UK MPs wrote to Home Secretary Yvette Cooper earlier this month over the incident.
The Crown Prosecution Service has been approached for comment.